Free BSD reviews, tutorials and gaming. Using FreeCAD on FreeBSD to edit 3D printer SDL files. Here we are on Tinkercad and uh, as an example what I'm going to do is create a basic shape and I'm going to export it and save that to my download folder and we're going to use that to import it into FreeCAD and see if we can alter the STL file in FreeCAD and re-export it back to Tinkercad. And if you haven't got a 3D printer, which I haven't at the moment, but if anyone wants to donate one, I wouldn't say no. Then if you head over to 3D Hub, and they're an excellent service that allows you to upload the designs that you've got, and for a very reasonable price, they will be sent back to you already made, which is brilliant. Right, first we need to load in the STL file that we created earlier. And Tinkercad. Highlight it. I'm just looking at some of the uh, statistics for the shape. Yeah, there he goes. Right, click on the pull down menu at the top and then select parts. This will then change the top menu to include the shapes and go to the parts menu at the top. Select create shape from mesh, accept the defaults because that's fine. Then delete the original file. Then click advanced utility menu. And then select solid from shell option. Then select the area to be altered, so in the middle. Click on create and then close. And we'll select the original file that you had at the beginning and then delete that. So you're concentrating on the new file. Choose one of the yellow chips on the menu bar. In this case, we'll choose a cylinder. There's the cylinder in the middle of our original shape. Once we've selected the cylinder, then you can change its uh, width and height parameters. So we're going to make it uh, larger. And we can change the depth if we want. Um, as long as it goes through the original shape, it really doesn't matter how big you make it. That's going to be the cutting stencil, as it were. We need to uh, cut it out, select both files together, and then select the menu Make a Cut of Two Shapes. There we are. And there we go. Look. Now, this is pretty much the uh, finished shape that we want. Nice flat disc with a big hole in the middle. And we'll be exporting this shape to uh, an SDL file which will then load into Tinkercad. So it's going back to Tinkercad after being altered in FreeCAD. Now we're going to save it. You need to choose from STL mesh uh, file format. There's two STLs you can choose from. But it's not the FEM, it's the STL mesh. Save that. Right, we go back into Tinkercad. And there's the original shape that we had. And we'll load in the uh, newly altered one. It's a different colour, but it's the same shape. And there we have. We have an original file created in Tinkercad. You could create this file easily in FreeCAD to begin with. 
upload it to Tinkercad, which then can be shared with any of the um, online sites that stores all the printer files, like Thingiverse. So yeah, so you can alter a file or create a file in FreeBSD, then upload it to Tinkercad and then send it to a manufacturer or a 3D printer to be printed out. 3D Hubs, for instance, do a good service. So yeah, thanks for watching. Catch you next time.